Alley Cats and new viewers. So today is part one of my July 2014 favorites, which July is my favorite month of the year because it's my birthday month. My birthday's July 30th, by the way. Um, so I totally just didn't tell you my birthday, but I'm super excited. I love July, and the only bad thing about July is there's a major drought in entertainment, so there's not going to be a ton of stuff in this video, but I'm still going to be talking a ton, so don't worry about that unless you hate me talking, then you got a lot to worry about. And, you know, I've decided that starting with this first part of July that with every TV show or movie or game I talk about in my favorites, I'm going to put the trailer down below in the description box, so if it interests you, you can watch the trailer and see if it's something that would be up your alley, so... Yeah, if you like that, let me know, and I'm just going to get started with TV first. There really hasn't been much TV on lately. Most of the stuff that I already watched, like Pretty Little Liars and Chasing Life and True Blood and Salem. So those are all great shows, but I'm going to talk about two shows in particular that I've already talked about, but, you know, I've gotten further into them. And the first show is Orange is the New Black. I've mentioned this a couple videos ago. The Orange is the New Black is the story of Piper Chapman, who is sent to Litchfield Women's Prison because she admitted that she did a crime. So she has to go and serve 15 months. And the show is basically, it shows what she deals with in prison, and every episode kind of highlights a different inmate. And this show does such a wonderful job of making you feel connected to all these different inmates. Some of them you will love and some you will hate, but you will love to hate them. But you feel an emotional connection to each of these characters, and that's such just an amazing feeling with a TV show to be able to connect with these characters on screen. It doesn't really happen a lot with me, but with Orange is the New Black, I really did feel an emotional connection with these characters. And the reason I'm including it in this month is because I actually watched half the season a pr uh, like two videos ago. Then I stopped to watch Sherlock and True Detective, and then I just recently watched the second half. So I've seen the whole first season now. I need to watch the second one. But I can't because I don't have streaming capabilities. But anyway, it's an amazing show. It is, yeah, it is based on an autobiography from Piper Kerman with the same name, Orange is the New Black. But yeah, I totally recommend watching it. It's got a very smart, dark sense of humor. And it's just so touching and funny. And, you know, it might be a little unrealistic, but it's still a great show. So check it out if that sounds interesting to you. And of course, the trailer will be in the description box down below. Now the second show, I just I mentioned this kind of when I was talking about Orange is the New Black, but I got this recently. I don't know if I put this in my last pickup video or if it's going to be in this month. I forget. But I got the show because my dad was interested in watching it, and plus I love this show. But it's Sherlock, and Sherlock, this has to be the best adaptation of Sherlock Holmes that I've ever, ever laid eyes on. This is better than the movies. It's better than a lot of TV shows I've seen. Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman are phenomenal actors, especially Benedict. He does such a great job as Sherlock. And this show is just phenomenal. I love it. It's very fast-paced, so you have to pay attention every second of this show, or you will miss stuff. And I was watching these episodes for a second time, and I was picking up on stuff I'd missed the first time I'd watched it. And my dad was loving this show. Each season only has three episodes which you kind of think that's stingy, but each episode is the length of a feature film. Each episode is 90 minutes long, so it kind of makes up for that fact. Still, I'll, I would love to see more episodes per season, but I like the format they have so far, so. I love this show, and it's definitely, definitely highly recommended for me. It's so funny. It's very, very witty, very sharp, very smart. You have to pay attention, like I said, or you will miss a lot of stuff. You cannot take your eyes off the screen, okay? But if you can do that, if you can sit through an hour and a half and watch each episode of this, you'll be in for a treat because it's just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So next we're moving on to the movies portion. And I've only watched one movie these past couple of weeks or so. But it was a really good movie, and I was totally expecting this movie to be like a cheesy B-movie sci-fi film. But it's called The Machine, and it's about these two AI engineers, and I'm assuming the future. I think it's the future. But, you know, they're trying to create these machines that are human-like with AI capabilities. And they're doing these research um, studies about how you could put like a human brain inside an AI, and they'd become kind of human and it's a little convoluted 
trust me, you got just watch the movie to see what I'm fully talking about. But the two main characters in this film are Vincent and Ava, and they're both AI engineers, like I said, and they just have this wonderful relationship. And you can kind of tell they like each other. Things are going pretty well. They're both really successful, and then Ava dies. It's not a spoiler, okay? And Ava becomes the machine. And I won't tell you what happens with her after she becomes the machine, because that would be a spoiler. But Katie Lotz, who plays Ava, and uh, I think his name is Toby Stevens, who plays Vincent, are both great in this movie. And this movie kind of has a Blade Runner feel to it. I mean, it's nothing like Blade Runner at all, but it's got that feel to it. And as a warning, this is a very, very, very sci-fi heavy film. It's got a lot of science fiction elements in it, but it's wonderful. And it totally blew my expectations out of the water because, like I said, I was expecting a cheesy film. And the production values on this movie were quite high. The actors all did an amazing job. It leaves you wanting more in a good way. And I just love this film. So check out the trailer down below and see if it's something that would pique your interest. Because I totally like want to spread the news about this movie because it's so good, so underrated. So watch the trailer. If you like it, watch the movie and let me know what you think about it. Now moving on to the games, I've only been playing one besides Uncharted Golden Abyss, I still haven't finished that, but it's Dragon Guard 3, and I love this game. Now Dragon Guard 3, even though it's 3, is actually a prequel to the original Dragon Guard game, so you do not have to play 1 or 2 to understand the story of this. You don't even have to play Nier to understand the story of this, but this game is amazing. I love it. The critics lambasted this game so badly. But you know what? Sometimes critics are wrong. Just play the game, see if it's right for you, and then decide on your own merit. But this game is awesome. If you've played Nier or the other Dragon Guard games, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But there are so many humorous touches in this game. Yes, the dialogue is crude sometimes. Yes, the women are dressed skimpily. But this game just... It's awesome. It's awesome sauce. You don't get a lot of games like this. And I love 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 the combat it's very repetitive but it's so fun and the cool thing about the combat is when you're fighting every time you kill an enemy blood splashes on the screen and then you see blood covering zero the main character it's all over her clothes it's all over her sword or spear or whatever weapon she's carrying and that's just a really cool touch to me i love seeing all the blood weirdo i know but she also has a dragon companion named mikhail and at first he's a little grating and annoying but you soon become quite attached to the cute little dragon and he does help you out in battle sometimes which I kinda don't like the dragon battles I can deal with them though they're not a huge problem this game does have some issues with the camera but they're nothing game breaking to me and some people have mentioned how the lip syncing in this game doesn't match up because you know they didn't change it from when it was Japanese over to the English dub it doesn't bother me at all, okay? The voice actors did a great job. That's all that matters to me is as long as the voice actors did a good job with their lines in this game, I don't care if the lip syncing matches up or not. It's really not noticeable at all, actually. So, yeah. Check out the trailer for this game. It's gone, though. I mean, this, this is bat crap crazy, okay? But if you think this is just anywhere close to your interests, pick it up and play it. It's worth it. You'll have a lot of fun with it. Trust me. Trust me. I love it so far. It is very, very complex, too. It's got a great upgrade system, and you actually can't get the true ending to the game until you have found every weapon in the game. I know, crazy, but that's, an, uh, that's another cool aspect. And I'm going to quit talking about Dragon Guard 3 and move on to my favorite music, which, of course, is in the playlist down below in the description box. There's ten songs, like always, so let me know what you think about them. Let me know which one is your favorite, because I love to spread my musical taste around. And I think I have good musical taste, but you know everyone thinks that, so... Not about me, of course, I'm talking about themselves. But let me know what you think. And the final part of this first part of my July Favorites video are, of course, my favorite YouTubers of these first couple of weeks. So, let's just get on with it. The first one, of course, is... If I say your last name wrong, girl, totally murder my first name, okay? People do it all the time, but Brittany Brombacher? Is that how you say your name, dear? If I said it wrong, totally feel free to murder my first name. But she's also known as Blonde Nerd, and I've actually talked to her a couple times, and she's so awesome and so funny. 
And we both agree about Alistair from Dragon Age. We both agree that he's totally bangable. But I love Brittany because she's so, she doesn't have a filter and I love that. And she's just herself and that's something I admire so much because if you can't be yourself, then you're just, you're not living, okay? You just have to be yourself. You have to because you're you and you're the only one of you. So I love that she's herself and that she spreads this message around and she empowers other females to be themselves as well. And she she's not afraid of sharing her opinion. She's not afraid of people hating on her or anything like that. And she actually really, really knows what she's talking about. And, you know, like I said, she's really friendly and she's super awesome. And she's just so into gaming and other geeky related stuff. And her website is awesome. And I adore this girl. I mean, I adore you, girl. You're awesome. Thank you for talking to me and making me smile and making me laugh. Because our talk about Alistair seriously made my day. But check out her channel. It'll be in the link in the description box down below, like always. Next YouTuber is Tedekin. Now Tedekin is a friend of Rachel Moore and Seth Hendricks and I heard about him through Rachel and I found his channel through Rachel. But Tedekin does like gameplay uh, let's plays and he's just he's awesome. I love I love, yeah, I love your videos Tedekin. Really they make me laugh. Most of them are pretty short but there is one the Another World playthrough where they did the H uh, it's the HD upgrade it became available on the consoles just recently. I can't talk right now. I'm kind of like, whew! But that was an amazing, amazing playthrough. I loved your Another World playthrough, Tedekin. And you're super awesome. He's a really awesome guy. He's just so friendly and down to earth. And he's just really funny. I love your laugh. You have one of the best laughs ever. Oh my gosh. But check out his channel because he does have really, really good like just little let's play clips and stuff like from Titanfall and Outlast and Wolfenstein Another World there's so many so go check out Ted again because he's an awesome guy now the third youtuber I adore this woman as well and she's trying to reach 5,000 subscribers before Christmas I believe she can do it because she's amazing but that would be the Gebs 24 and she's so so sweet oh my gosh she is from the UK and she's awesome and she collects games for pretty much every console and she does a lot of like girly gamer pickups which I love and she went to the um, Core Design Studios headquarters which are now like apartment buildings but that was super awesome to watch and I just love all your videos girl and she has an amazing amazing blog site as well called JuicyGameReviews.com and she's just she's a gem. Gemma is a gem okay I, I, I adore Gemma so go check out her channel, give her lots of love, help her reach 5,000 subscribers, just spread the love people, spread the love. And the next YouTuber, or YouTubers, are Game Deficiency, which I think you recently subscribed to me, which thank you for that. But they're awesome, they have this really really funny like podcast, and then they do pickups and other random videos, and they're just so funny. They're Australian, and I love the Australian sense of humor. and I love the accents as well, okay? I love accents besides southern accents. Any accent is just makes me melt. But they're awesome guys. Go check out their channel, check out their podcast, and just give them some love. And the last YouTuber I've enjoyed watching videos of this couple of weeks is The Red Shadow. He doesn't have a lot of subscribers, which I'm kind of shocked because his videos are really, you know, they're really good. And he's a great speaker. But he does a lot of like collection videos like PS2, PS1, Xbox 360, Dreamcast, so on and so forth. He's basically, he's basically got pretty much every console, I believe. I mean, I'm sure there's some that are missing, but he's got a lot of consoles. And he also does vlogs and like his favorite games. And he's just, he's awesome. I love your videos. I don't know if you know that I watch your videos, but I do watch them. And I love them. And, you know... I've just, I love to watch your collection videos because I love to see your, everyone's collections of their games because that just fascinates me. But he has an amazing collection for basically every system out there. So those are my top five YouTubers. Like I said, all the links will be in the, 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 the description box down below. And of course there will be trailers for all the games and TV shows and movies I mentioned 
earlier and of course the playlist will have the links to the songs there's gonna be a lot of links in this description box okay but if you go through every one of them you are a trooper but thank you for watching I'm so excited for this month and I know a lot of people uh, this month isn't very special but to me it is because I love the 4th of July I love my birthday so July is an amazing amazing month this is my favorite month so I'm super excited so if you like this video, please leave a like. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorites so far are this month and what you think about what my favorites were. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because I have a goal for my birthday. I'm not going to say what it is because I will screw I will screw myself if I say what my goal is. But please subscribe. It will make me super duper happy. And um, favorites to your friends and family can see and share me as long as you do it nicely. That's all I ask. I hope you have a splendiferous, awesome-tastic day. Just had to use some weird words. I'm gonna go. Peace and kisses.